What's up? Welcome to the video. Hope you're doing well. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make this and how to make this in Affinity Designer using only one tool. So let's get right into it. So first thing I got here is this um, axe chopping some wood. So let's do some wood. Let's do some woodworking. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to grab some text. So I'm going to go over to my tools on the left hand side here. I'm going to grab the artistic text tool right here. I'm just going to click and drag out the word, spell the word, wood. And let's size it to about, uh, I don't know, there, maybe here. Something like that. We'll change that later. So, now that we've got our text selected here in the layers panel on the right, I'm going to go over to my tools on the left-hand side, and I'm going to grab the knife tool, which is right here. It's a K on your keyboard for a shortcut. Now, the only thing that I'm going to change is up in the top left here, um, there's by default the stabilizer option, which kind of lets you drag it. If you look at my screen like a mouth or sorry, like a, <laughs> like a rope. Uh, and I don't want that. I want a nice clean line. So what I'm going to do is click on this straight line option right here. So when I click on that, now my mouse has changed to this knife and basically where this ax is going, I just want to basically click and drag a line right through here where I think it would actually be cut. So let's say about, let's say here, now that I release my mouse, you can see if I zoom in, there's a little line between those. So they've now actually separated. If you go over to the layers panel, look in the right hand side, we have the W, which looks normal, but the O now has become two separate shapes and we have the other O and the other D. So let's grab this first O, double click here and we'll move it over. So let's try to line it up and rotate it a bit with this ax to kind of make it look like it's sliced right there. I'm going to pull it down a little, maybe like, maybe something like that. And same thing with this other O, I'm going to grab, drag it and... That looks all right to me, I think. Maybe something like that. And I'm, I'll move the O over a little bit. And we can change this later. All the uh, the spacing and the sizing and all that kind of stuff. I'll do something like that, maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, so now a couple other things just to make this look uh, pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to click on the O on the right-hand side. I'm going to double-click kick double. click double <laughs> i am going to double click it. And you can see in the Layers panel now, this part is highlighted. Uh, I'm going to go down to my Layer Effects at the bottom of my Layers panel right here. And I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add an inner shadow to this because I want it to look like it has a bit of a shadow coming off of that ax. So let's click on inner shadow. I'm going to drag up these sliders here, the radius and the offset a little bit. And you can see now it's formed a shadow right here, which is what I want. The angle set looks pretty good. Um, so I'm okay with that one. So let's leave that shadow right there. And now I'm going to click on this one and it's highlighted in my layers panel back down to layer effects at the very bottom here. I click on that. Again, I'm going to apply an inner shadow and drag it out. And this one, I'm going to move around a little bit. I'm going to move the angle a bit because I want it to really come from one side. So let's say something like that. For this one, I'm going to click on the offset tool, which allows you to kind of freely move the shadow around. So I'm going to kind of maybe do that because I want it just kind of like that maybe. So cool. So now we have these shadows added to this wood. So it looks like it's kind of sl sliced right through. And I want to do another thing. What I want to do is I want to add a texture inside this um, word to, to make it look, you know, maybe it'll look good. Maybe it won't. Let's find out. But I'm going to add this wood texture right here inside of it. Okay, so now that I have the uh, texture of wood imported, I want to put it inside these letters. Now, if you look on the right-hand side, uh, the W is its own letter. The first O is separated to two, and I have the O and the D. So I have to duplicate this five times because I want to put it in five different shapes. So um, I have it selected here in the layers panel. Now, if you don't know how to duplicate, you can either right click your mouse and select duplicate. Or if you're on a Mac, you can hit command J. And if you're on a PC, you can hit control J. So I'm going to duplicate this five times because I have five shapes. And what you do now is I'm going to click on one of them. I'm going to bring it up and I'm just going to drop it right on top of the W first. So I'm going to do that, drop it in the W, move it over. And now you can see that it has this wood texture. And now I'm going to grab the next one. Click, drag it up, drop it on top of the O, pull it over so you can see it. Uh, next up, grab this one, click, drag, drop it on the other half of the O, pull it over. And I'm just going to go through this, same thing, up to the O, drag it over. And the last one, I'm just going to go on the D here and do that. So now we have this kind of cool wood texture built right into the text. And I can add some shadows if I wanted to, um, to make it look like it has some shadows along here. Uh, I may do that afterwards so you can see what it looks like. But that's our first example. That's how you slice letters using the knife tool. Okay, so one more quick example. I want to show you another way to slice through text uh, for a different look, which is pretty cool. First thing we need is a background. So I'm going to go over to my tools here. 
I'm going to grab my rectangle tool. I'm just going to click and drag out a background here. There we go. Uh, next up, we need some text. So I'm going to go to my text down here in the toolbar. T is the shortcut. And I'm just going to click and drag out. I'm going to say design. Let's drag that out to about, I don't know. Let's find this thing center here. There it is. Uh, okay, so with our text selected in the top right corner, we are going to go back to our knife tool, which is K on your keyboard. And I'll show you by default, um, it has the stabilizer selected, which lets you kind of draw more of a free line. So if I click my mouse and start dragging, you'll see it's kind of like on a rope and I can drag it this way. And now if I separate the text here, you'll see that I get kind of more of a kind of a cool groovy line that I've created um, because I've used the stabilizer rope mode to do it this way. So you could do it this way. I'm going to use the straight line option again here to show you something. Let's remove that. Okay, so with the knife tool selected, I'm going to select straight line again. I'm going to click, drag my mouse maybe from, let's say here, right across. And now my text has been separated from top to bottom. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the top text and group it together so um, I know what is what. So I'm going to double click. I'm going to grab the D. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to continue E, S, I, and G, N. Make sure I get all those top ones. And now you can see in the layers panel on the right, they've all been selected. So now I want to group them. So I'm going to right click my mouse. I'm going to select group. And now they've all been put in one little folder. And I'm going to double click to rename this folder. I'm going to call it top text. So now I have all those. So now I want the bottom, same thing. I'm going to double click, hold shift on my keyboard. I'm going to go through and grab all the bottom of the text. They've all been selected on the layers panel on the right. I'm going to right click my mouse, select group again. And this time I'm going to say bottom text. So now if I grab this group at the top, I can move them around. If I grab the bottom, I can move that around as well. So um, let's grab the top. I'm going to shift the top over slightly, maybe like this, something like that. And one more cool thing I want to do here with the top text selected, I'm going to go down to my layer effects right here. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to add an outer shadow and I'm going to drag these sliders up. So they're pretty prominent. So you can see them quite a bit. And then with that selected, I'm going to grab the offset tool because the offset tool allows you to move your shadow around sort of freely. So I'm going to grab the offset tool and now I'm going to drag my shadow down a little bit because I want it sort of over top of the text. So it really looks like it's, floating over top of the actual um, text below it. And maybe just one more thing on here. And again, these are separated, so I can always move these around. I could do it like this. They're grouped now, so it's a lot easier to do this. And one more thing I'm going to add, I'm going to click on the background here. And I'm just going to go to the uh, gradient tool here. I'm just going to add a little gradient, uh, maybe where the slice is. So I'm going to do something like kind of line this up where the slice is. So it kind of looks like there's a bit of a separation from where the slice uh, is happening. So we'll say maybe like, maybe something like that. There we go. Uh, so that is slicing your text with the knife tool. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please tap, tap, tap that like button and uh, feel free to join the community. Uh, five bucks a month to inflate my ego. Um, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.